Hi, I'm Hans Lowe. And I'm Hector Sanchez. And we're the producers of Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Uh, today we're going to talk about some of the new modes in our game and uh, kind of explain what they are. One of the things we're going to talk about today is Freefall Combat. Freefall Combat is basically the, the mode of the game where as you're fighting there are certain places in the arena where you can throw your opponent out and as you throw them out you fall. Now traditionally this is more of a cinematic scene where you'll sit back and watch the action and, until you arrive to the next level of the arena. We've taken that out of the controls of the game and given it into the player's hand where now you can start throwing punches and trade punches with your opponent. Yeah, you can totally influence what happens in these kind of transitional pieces. And it, they're very old school, they're very reminiscent of kind of the old Mortal Kombat games. Right. We just wanted to add another layer of complexity uh, to it in yep. this iteration because that's what we can do now, right? Right, and as you're falling, you also have the ability to fill up the meter on the side of the screen, which if you fill it to the right level, you can pull off a super. Yeah, every character is going to have their own specific special move in free fall combat. I know for the Green Lantern, his ring turned into mm -hmm. like a saw, you know. Yeah. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of cool things yeah. that are going to happen in there, and I think players are going to look forward to actually building up that meter and pulling off those special moves yep. in the middle of a fight. Definitely, definitely fun. Another mode that we have is close combat. This is more of a tighter and close fighting where the camera actually comes in really tight between the two players and you can actually see them trade punches and see the reactions and as, also see some of the damage that occurs as they're fighting up close. Yeah, it's a very brutal, intense kind of mode. The camera pans in close, we get to show off the detail of our character. Right. The hits are real jarring, yeah. as camera shakes, there's really like, the sound kind of like, yeah, solid. the exaggerated, yeah. I mean, everything's really cool. And it's a guessing game between, yeah. the, uh, between the two. There's a couple HUD elements that come up on the screen that kind of tells you what button that you're pressing. So right. if you pay attention, you can kind of learn your opponent's uh, pattern, right. and, and the next time they try to put those, counter it you can actually break out of it encounter it and uh, every character has their own counter move too. I know yeah. like Catwoman kind of does a little backflip out, right. you know, Scorpion does a cool ninja thing yeah. and uh, the characters actually have their own attacks in that mode as well. Yeah. So we were able to capture a lot of really cool animations. I know the Joker pulls in somebody and like pokes their eye out like you would imagine the Joker would fight. Exactly. Catwoman kind of scratches them in the face, you know. Uh, Batman has like this huge forearm. With the, uh, oh, yeah, with every the character. character has something special. So, uh, you know, there's something for everybody, definitely. Uh, the last mode that we actually uh, kind of brought into this time right around is, uh, is Rage Mode. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, <coughs> Combat Rage is kind of the centerpiece and focal point of our story mode. And what Rage Mode in the game is, is kind of represents this kind of, of state of being where a fighter just has no control over what they're doing. They're just kind of like enraged, obviously. Basically, you build this mode up by performing a lot of the special moves performing a lot of the advanced combos, right. also by also getting hit. Also by getting hit as well, so it's, it's kind of, like you're getting it and taking it. It's actually broken into two parts. One, if you fill up the bars individually, what you can do then is pull a counter. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you uh, earn breakers. Breakers. Basically, right. pretty much, is uh, is something that we've had in, in a lot of Mortal Kombat's combo breakers. If somebody is trying to start a, a combo on right. you, can actually pull this, yeah, yeah, pull, pull it off and, and stop, stop it, them in, yeah, so. in, in the middle of it, so that you're not, not sitting there getting that way, 10 yeah, times exactly. over. Exactly, you can break it. But if you hold on to those breakers, and you build up your rage meter the whole way, you hit right. both triggers, you trigger it, and you go into this kind of like five to seven second kind of state of being where your hit rea uh, hit reaction animations are turned off. So if you're melee hitting me, I'm right. just going to barrel through all of my yeah. all of your attacks. Or if I'm like trying to go into defensive pose, you can break right through Yeah, exactly. So. If you're blocking and I perform a combo, the first couple of hits are going to knock your block away right. and I'll be able to kind of continue through it. So it's a, it's a really game-defining, really game-changing moment. You want to make sure that you trigger it at the right, right time and uh, the, uh, the actual visual uh, impact of it is really cool. Your body kind of goes into this whole big flow. Yeah. It's something that we've never been able to do before and, and it looks really awesome. <laughs>